Casey Mize, he talked about it as well. Kind of his first start in a very long time, over 700 days. Um, and he said this, look, if you look beyond the box score, I think I did some things today that I'm really happy about and looking forward to build upon. I, I Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. But I think one of the most important things for a pitcher is confidence in their stuff. Yes. And seeing those comments from Casey Mize after the game, seeing it in a win as well, I think that getting it in the win as well helps him. Definitely. I am glad that Casey Mize went out there, was able to kind of dust the rust off, uh, you know, it, just that the thing, rust off. I it, like it that. Could've, it could have gone. It could have gone think. a myriad of ways. This thing could have been one where, even if it was a bad game for him, we could be sitting here saying, you know what? He just needs a little bit of time to kind of get. He needs just a little bit of time to 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 get in rhythm. But that was a game yesterday where I said, you know what? He kind of already looks like he's in rhythm. Yes. Yeah. The best thing I think that could have happened to him was that first inning. And, and it wasn't the most perfect inning. Yeah. You worry with a pitcher, especially after such a long break in between uh, in between starts, almost over two years. He walks the leadoff hitter, Brandon Nimmo. But what does he do next? He follows it up with a, his first K in two years on Man. Pete Alonso. 96 mile an hour heater right by Pete Alonso, one of the better <laughs> fastball hitters in the league. And then he got into a little bit of trouble, but he was able to strand runners on first and second. After that, he settled down. He started to find his control with his fastball. And then, Flannel, that splitter. That splitter was in midseason form. <laughs> no, it, it, it most certainly was. And that's why we say, and Broder, I think you hit it on the head, that if you look at the box score, you think, ah, Casey Mize had a little bit of a rough debut. And unfortunately, he did give up some runs and a uh, Joey Wentz allowed an inherited runner to score, but like I said, his stuff looked, looked, looked good. His splitter, that was the splitter that we haven't seen in a couple of years, and it was just so nice to see. And I also have to uh, shout out the bullpen in that game because like they have every single game, except for a couple of, of instances, they just completely shut the opponent down. And in this game with, with, with the uh, Mets, of course, Joey Wentz allowed the uh, inherited run, run to score, but basically, he didn't get have he didn't allow more. He right. didn't have any runs on his record. And then of course Alex Lang comes in and says, "You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir." <laughs> Andrew Chafin, "You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir." Jason Foley, "You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir." And of course, the wonderful, immaculate, stupendous Shelby Miller. More on him later.